Hello, welcome to another cloud coding video with me, Mohammed Saif. Today, I will be sharing my experience in upgrading my daily driver laptop storage. I have here Gigabyte Aero 15, which is packed with 512 GB storage, 16 GB RAM, and Intel Core i7-10875H with 8 cores and 16 threads. I will be upgrading to one terabyte Samsung Evo Plus NVMe M.2 drive with rated 3500 sequential reads and 3300 sequential writes. I'm super excited about this drive. I will also be using a Ricoh NVMe USB-C Gen 2 enclosure to clone my OS drive before installing the SSD in my laptop. That's it, let's go. I will begin quickly unboxing both of the SSD and enclosure. Starting with Orico NVMe enclosure box, opening it up to see what we have here. Hmm. It comes with what it seems two USB-C cables. Let me see. So we have USB-C to USB-C and we have USB-C to USB-A cables. Also included a screwdriver, so you don't need to fish one up. And a half millimeter thick thermal pad to help with cooling the SSD and a screw to hold the drive in place. Also, the usual manuals. And finally, the start of the show the transparent enclosure. I will remove the plastic wrapping first. And then by sliding the enclosure, I can open it up. I immediately notice the aluminum heatsink on the top cover and the connection board in a cool transparent plastic, which I really like. Let's put it aside and now move to the actual star of the upgrade. Samsung 970 EVO Plus. I will start by removing the seal on the box Inside a protective plastic pack, you will find the tiny NVMe SSD drive. This drive has a rated read and write speeds that almost max out the bandwidth for PCI Express 3. That's it for the unboxing. Now time to use the SSD enclosure. In installing the SSD inside the enclosure is simple and require only the included screwdriver. Let's open it up by pushing to separate the top and bottom covers. As you might know, NVMe drives gets really hot. I'm glad that I have this heat sink to help in managing the temperature under low. Let's drag the board from the bottom. Looking at the NVMe drive, you should notice the notch on the right, which will prevent you from installing the drive incorrectly. Now, very gently and at 30 degree angle, try to fully insert the drive into the board and make sure all threads are locked. Now, with the supplied screw and copper drive holder, I will place the copper drive holder between the board and the NVMe drive. And from the other side, I will tie the screw. Let's 
Looks good. Now, installing back the board into the plastic enclosure while ensuring the USB-C port is aligned with the opening. Before I add the top cover, I wanted to highlight that you should add the included thermal pad to the controller part of the NVMe drive, which is located at the top here. My laptop came with extra thermal pad that I will be using when installing it inside the laptop. So I will not use this for now. Sliding the top cover and I'm done and ready to go. Let's go to Windows now to prepare the new drive. Depending on your case, you may want to clone your current OS drive if you are replacing it. Or maybe you want to do a fresh Windows install using a bootable USB stick or just use it as an extra data drive. Let's explore each option. For the OS drive cloning, I will be using Samsung data migration software. There are also cloning tools available. I will put links in the description. It was useful to me to read the provided PDF documentation that you can download here as well. Using the migration tool is super simple. Make sure you select your OS drive in the source and your Samsung drive in the target. Click start and accept the warning that basically says that all data and destination drive will be deleted. Let's look now at a fresh Windows install. This is also very simple. Just head to Microsoft to download the Windows 10 installation media software to create a bootable USB stick. When you run it, it will ask you if you want to force a Windows upgrade or create an installation media. I will select create installation media option. Using the default settings and selecting my desired USB drive connected to this laptop, the tool will start downloading the latest bits for Windows locally to your computer and then it will copy them to the selected USB stick. Now the easiest option is using the new drive as just data disk. Open Computer Management Console via right clicking on this PC in the Windows Explorer and select Manage. After that, select the disk management section on the right. You might get a prompt asking you to initialize the drive. Click OK to do just that. Now you are ready to format the drive. I'm here accepting all default options to have a single one terabyte partition. You might need to adjust to your preferences. Now the drive is ready to be used and you can find it in the normal Windows Explorer. Moving to the exciting part for me, in installing the NVMe drive in my laptop. I will start by unscrewing the back cover using appropriate driver bit and then use a plastic wedge to release the clips holding the cover. Moving around the laptop gently to make sure the back cover is loose. This laptop, like many new laptops, equipped with two NVMe M.2 slots. I have my older drive installed in the right slot with the second one empty. Removing the single screw holding the drive in place and gently take it out. Now I'm getting my new SSD from the enclosure by gently wiggling it out. I'm making sure I'm holding the drive in the right side and by pushing it again at an angle into the empty slot while making sure that the threads are fully engaged. Screwing again the drive in place and I'm done. Oh, wait.
I forgot to add the thermal pad on top of the drive controller. Let me just do that. Looks good. Now putting back the back cover. Pushing around to ensure the clips are engaged. And I'm done. That's a wrap for now. Thank you for sticking around and if you found this content useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I'll try to publish new content when I have story to tell, so you might consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification icon so you will not miss future videos. Cheers!